up guys? It's your boy NLG Don back again with another video. Today video I will be doing how to start off your freeform dress. But before we get into the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so y'all be the first one to watch my videos. And comment below what else y'all want from me or if y'all just got anything to comment or what y'all want my next video to be. Also follow me on Instagram at NLG Don because I'm gonna be doing a reacting to my subscribers hair video. And yeah, just send me a picture of your hair and that might just be in the video. But yeah, let's get right into the video. First off, I'm going to start off naming the methods that you could use to start off the free from dress. Then I'm going to explain each method and how it would develop and how you can use it. But yeah, alright, after start off naming the methods. Okay, you use a brush. You could use a towel. You could use a sponge. You could use locking gel. You could use a crochet needle. You could use your hand. And you could use water. I finna explain these seven methods to how to start off your free from dreads. Then, yeah. Alright. Alright, first off, I'm gonna start off with the sponge. The sponge I used in the beginning of my free from dreads. So that's how I started my free from dreads. I started off my free from dreads just by using the sponge. Okay. Alright, I finna explain like how. Okay, I finna explain how the process was for me starting using the sponge. Okay. The sponge is section off your hair. Now you can use the big holes or the small holes. I think I used the big holes. I don't remember. But I think I used the big holes to start my feet from dress. That's why most of my dress probably look thick. But some skinny too. So now I'm going to explain the sponge. The sponge is section off your hair. I feel like the sponge, okay. The sponge really don't lock up your hair. The only thing it really do is section off your hair. That's why it's like the hose. It's section off your hair. Like, eventually, yeah, your hair gonna lock if you keep using the sponge. But I feel like the process is gonna be longer than it should be when you use when you using the sponge. So, yeah, okay. The sponge is good to start off with. So if you start off your free from dreads, I feel like the sponge is probably the best method because the section off your hair the best. But after a while, start off using something else. I mean, start using something else after you're done using the sponge because the sponge ain't gonna be work forever. Most likely, it's probably gonna be on a standstill. So, try to use the sponge, then go to something else. Now, I'm gonna get to the brush method. If you want to use the brush method, you have to have short hair because it's not gonna really work with longer hair because it needs to it needs to get to the roots and because the brush is not gonna really like section off your hair like that if you have longer hair so you have to have short hair to use the brush method and also the brush method will give you skinny dress you want you won't have thick dress so if you want skinny dress use the brush method okay now i'm gonna get to the towel all right when when using the when using the towel that's my favorite method because that's the method i use the most but when you use it you can use the towel with short hair long hair and you can use any type of towel it don't really matter what type of towel you have you use a big towel, small towel, a uh, regular towel. It don't really matter. And it gets to your roots and it locks up your hair because the towel grips on your hair and just lock it up. So I feel like the towel is the best method to use, but that's on my opinion. I don't know if it's going to work on your hair. It works on my hair. It's, it's cool. Uh, but I don't know if it's going to work on your hair. But the towel, it locks up your hair with any length and it section off your hair. But probably not as well as the sponge because the sponge got the little holes. But th that's why I used the sponge first to section on my hair. Then I went to the towel. So you could do the same thing as I did. Okay, now I'm finna get to the um the water method. The water method is just like that's the free form, free form. Like if you really want free form, free form, you don't you don't do nothing but just wa wash your hair. That's it. Just wet your hair, water it and stuff like that. It don't do nothing afterwards. If you do that then your, your hair gonna form freely and probably gonna come together like that's only if you want that like that free form free form look like it don't really look like dreads it's like hair just clump together and like probably long or short or I don't know but that's only if you want that free form free form look then you can just wash your hair and don't ever do nothing to it don't pick it out don't comb it out don't use a sponge don't use a towel don't use nothing you just let it be but that's only if you want that free form free form look all right, now I'm finna get to the crochet needle. All right, the crochet needle. If you if you use the crochet needle, it ain't really like free from dread because you actually doing like trying to lock it up. 
but and you ain't getting the progression done and after you lock it up you ain't gonna do nothing else to it so it's kind of like c i mean semi free form drift but you just i don't know but um crochet you need to that's when you want to lock it up like you don't want to wait you just want to hurry up and lock it up and just lock it up okay now i'm gonna get to the locking gel now the locking gel you could just you could use only the locker gel or you could use like the sponge and the towel or something else to help you but you could use just your the locking gel like just twist it with, just twist it put the locking gel on your finger and just twist it with your hand or whatever and the locking gel it speeds up the process of locking your hair like if you if you want your hair to be like like hurry up like if you want your hair to like lock up like faster than what it's supposed to be use locking gel the locking gel helps speed up the process of the locking so yeah you can use locking gel to like lock your hair to have like freeform dress and stuff like that like the freeform look but i never really lose um locking gel because i ain't really really care for it too much like it really didn't matter to me to like speed up the process i just it really didn't mean, I really didn't care. But locking gel helps speed up the process of locking that locking up your hair. Probably not as fast as the um crochet needle, but it speeds up the process than usual like it was just using like one thing. But if you use like a sponge and locking gel, it probably like help it locks up better and faster. Alright, now I'm gonna get to the hand. The hand you could do like different type of styles like you when you, when you use your hand you like you can put your stuff in like two strand twist and then let it out and then you could just let it be like that and just keep twisting it with your your finger just keep twisting it keep twisting your hair up like you could be in class i don't know you just twist your twist your hair up just keep twisting with your finger like that's what i do right now i don't use nothing i just twist with my hand just twist it twist with my hand that's it I don't use no sponge, I don't use no towel, I just twist it with my hand and I just let it be. But yeah. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of the video. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Like the video and subscribe and turn that notification bell so y'all be the first one to watch my videos. And comment below what else y'all want from me or if y'all just wanna comment. But yeah, and also follow me on Instagram at NLG Don because I'm gonna be doing a reaction to my scraps hair video. And all y'all have to do is just send me a picture of your hair and I might just be in the video. And it's been your boy. N-A-O-G-Don And I'm back with another video Peace